Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful Monday morning. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with a quick look at your front page news. Tropical Storm Nicholas is expected to make landfall along the Texas coast tonight. Heavy rain and flash flooded are floods are also big concerns in parts of Louisiana that are still trying to recover from Hurricane Ida. Meanwhile, Election Day is tomorrow in California, but Republicans are already claiming voter fraud as the campaign to get rid of Governor Gavin Newsom is losing steam. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Barack Obama were in the state over the weekend to show their support for Newsom. Biden will be traveling there today. Now, in other news, U.S. Capitol Police announced six disciplinary cases against the officers from the January 6th insurrection on the Capitol. And last but not least, House Democrats are expected to release a draft proposal of their $3.5 trillion budget package today. Now, it probably won't have any Republican support, but they do hope to pass it anyway through reconciliation. All right, that was a quick look at your front page news. For more, go ahead and log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. Rock T, the sports genius. What's going down in sports? Well, I don't know if you guys got a chance to watch a former heavyweight champ, Evander Holyfield, get knocked out in the first round of his little fight, exhibition fight there over the weekend against a Vitor Belfort. I mean, should they have stopped the fight? Probably not. He kind of he probably should have went at least another round or whatever, man. But I think the referee was starting to feel bad for Evander because he's fifty eight years old and he was just kind of getting tapped on, even though he was mm. blocking most of the shots. He just kind of felt sorry for him. So it is what it is, man. Big ups. Uh, college football recap over the weekend, man. What's up with Ohio State losing to Oregon, thirty five to twenty eight? Ohio State, can they get back into? The- a playoff contention? Uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. Texas loses to Arkansas. NFL, man, action went down. Trevor Lawrence, he struggled a little bit. He threw three interceptions. Houston beat the Jaguars. Arizona Cardinals, that's a team that is a force to be reckoned with. I'm very impressed. I don't know if I'm going to jump on the bandwagon yet, but Kyler Murray and the Cardinals defense is, uh, is legit. I think they legit, man. The way they handled Tennessee – Tennessee was one of the teams that was expected to be contending for the Super Bowl. Now, I know this is only week number one, so this ain't the time to be panicking, and this ain't time to be making predictions about what's going to happen. But Arizona Cardinals look real good over the weekend. Another team that looked good was them Cleveland Browns. People thought the Cleveland Browns was a fluke last year, that they ain't going to be able to piggyback on what they did. But they played Kansas City Chiefs all the way down to the wire with Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns, man. So big up to that. Not sure what happened with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, but uh, Jameis Winston looked good. Show some love to Jameis Winston and the St. Louis, uh, not St. Louis, but uh, the New Orleans Saints. Five right. touchdowns for, uh, for Jameis Winston doing his thing out there. And see, with Jameis Winston, what, what really got me excited about him he, even though he had a, a home run a shot into a touchdown, uh, but at the same time, he was just kind of throwing the ball. He's being very smart with the football, not trying to force stuff. And that's why it worked out for him, man. He's following Peyton's uh, lead as, as his coach or whatever. So Jameis Winston did his thing, man. So big up to the New Orleans Saints right there. That's what I got for sports right about now, man. Follow me on social media platforms at Rock T. Holler.